All right, well, welcome. I'm Brian Hagen from Purposeful Foam Molding. I'm the creator of the online course that we teach self care and foam molding skills so that you can take care of those tight muscles, those painful muscles, uh, and then get out and do the things that you love to do. So, if you're interested in taking a look at the courses and just some videos, uh, cuts, or clips on our uh, online course, go ahead and follow the link on the, in the comments below and uh, take a look at that. Today, what we're going to do is talk about a muscle that I had issues with. And um, this is called the masseter muscle. And it was interesting because um, I had a root canal probably a couple years ago uh, up in here, one of the molars up in this region right here. And uh, everything went well, it seemed to be fine. And every now and then I get pain up in here and uh, it mimics a root canal or mimics a cavity, if you will. And so I thought, okay, great. Now I've got another cavity in here, another issue. But what was interesting is that it has done this before when I get stressed or I get, or I'm clenching my teeth, I'm really making this area tight, I get pain right up in here. And sometimes I get pain down here and sensitivity where I can actually just touch the teeth together and it's, it's painful. So I thought, okay, I've got some problems, some teeth bones, I better go in and have a take a look at. And if you do have pain in this area, and it's probably best to go in and have that checked first before you um, just make sure you don't have a cavity. But let's say for me, it was on a Saturday. I was going to have the weekend to deal with it. So I decided to see if I could take care of it by just uh, putting some heat on, on the muscle, which I'll show you how to do that, how to work it and then stretch it a little bit and see if it didn't go away. Well, it did. It went away. So I'm pretty confident that it was a muscle pain, not a, a dental pain. If it comes back and if it continues to bother me or whatever, I will go in and have it looked at. But right now, and it's it's feeling fantastic. So anyways, I want to talk about this muscle. And this muscle is a muscle that can cause pain in the, 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 the chin, or I'm sorry, the uh, jaw, the cheek, um, the uh, up above the eyebrow, and even into the, uh, the teeth itself. And interestingly enough, it can create pain in the ear. So I want to talk about this muscle. It is the masseter muscle. It's one of the most powerful muscles in the body because it, it's what allows us to chew. So it's it's right in this location here. And you can see Mr. Manny here. It's in blue. And this is the masseter muscle. It's on both sides of our face. And it runs basically from down here called the mandible up to this little spot right here called the zygomatic arch. It's just a big bony thing. We call it our cheek. But it's right there. You can feel this arch right here. So it's running from here right down and attaching really where the end of the, the, the jaw is here, roughly about right there. So this is the location. And that's how you can find it on your cells. Find the end of your jaw, come in a little bit, take two fingers, put it there and then kind of run it up until you find this, this ridge. It's an arch, but it feels like a ridge. That's the location of this muscle. And you can really feel it if you put your fingers there and open your jaw and close it. You'll feel that muscle move. So it's a very powerful muscle. So first of all, let's now that we found it, let's find out what happens when it gets, well, uh, let's find out what it does. It literally elevates the lower jaw. So when we're chewing, it's bringing the jaw, lower jaw up. What happens when this muscle gets angry? Well, it can create a whole lot of pain. So this orange area around here, when you can't see it too much, but it's right in the ear, right there. This is where this muscle can cause pain. So typically, you feel it when you're moving the jaw, chewing. Uh, if you're clenching your teeth, you'll feel pain. Uh, and sometimes it will impact the function of the jaw, especially if one side is tight and the other is not. It can really offset the jaw. So just kind of weird function of the jaw and pain when you're moving the jaw. And if this muscle creates a uh, develops a hyper-irritated point, which we've talked about in the past. These are what we call trigger points, and all muscles can develop these. Some develop one, some develop uh, two, three. This muscle actually develops six. You can develop six different trigger points in a very small muscle. So you can tell if it's developing, if it has the potential to develop six of these trigger points, it can get quite angry. And as you can see with Mr. Manny here, it's pretty much covering the whole face. So again, Right above the eyebrow, we can get pain. That pain can drop down into basically where the muscle is located at here. We can get pain in the jaw. 
And like for me, it was these teeth back here. In fact, it was one particular one right there. And it was sensitive. It was, it was aching like it would ache if it, you had a cavity. But if I just touched it with my bottom tooth, I would get pain. And I was getting pain in the lower jaw, right down here in the teeth. So not only was the pain when I touched the two together up here, but the pain radiated or was, was actually at these lower molars, molars down here. So again, it just felt like I had massive amounts of cavities in the right side of my face, my jaw. It was definitely very concerning. Um, but again, you, this pain can come down into here to the chin, all the way up into here, uh, up this region where the, the again, the, the upper jaw and uh, these, these molars here, into the cheek, back up and toward the, the, where the, the jaw ends, into the ear. You can get pain in the ear. So that's quite a significant amount of pain that this muscle can create. And I had, really, it was pretty much the jaw, upper and lower jaw that I was, that was giving me uh, trouble. So why can this, what causes this muscle to get angry? Well, a lot of it is stress. So a lot of times as we stress, we get stressed out, we tend to drop, clench or clench the jaw. So we tend to be like this, and that really makes this muscle angry. If we're grinding our teeth, this can make this muscle angry. And if we're in bad posture. So imagine, so this muscle's here, and if I move my head forward in bad posture, I'm focused on something, it can throw off my jaw. It can make my jaw either come out a little bit, go in a little bit. It, because my head is forward, this is not going to be in the correct place. So being in good posture is a, is a good preventative for getting this muscle angry and, and reducing the stress level in your life. That's another one. Or if you can't seem to get your stress level reduced, then take breaks. And a lot of people are really, they struggle with that. But I'm telling you, long-term health, you can't do nine hours of massive stress and then be healthy. You just can't. You've got to take breaks in your life. You've got to help your body relax and get out and just sort of chill out, um, which is going to have long-term consequences. And it, it can create a lot of body pain. So, you know, I could have went into the dentist and I could have spent a fair amount of money to have them check this all out, um, maybe take some pain meds, whatever. Um, luckily, I, I got myself relaxed. I figured out what I was doing. Um, so let's talk about that. Let's talk about how do we get this muscle under control when it does get angry. Well, I took a nice, hot, moist heat pack. I put a, a, a one that was warmed from a, a, the water from a faucet, and I put that on here. Then I took one that was even hotter water, and I put that on top of that, and I just warmed up my entire face, jaw, practically my jaw. And after I did that, I just took my hands, and I just started to massage this. Now, I will tell you, when I started this, uh, it, it the right side really felt angry. In fact, the more I did it, the more painful my, my teeth got. Uh, and um, I, I just backed off on that side. I was much more gentle and a little bit more aggressive on the left. And then as I was a, uh, as I worked into it more comfortably, getting it to relax, it reduced. And the pain in my jaw and everything else dropped down significantly. Uh, and then I was able to get in here and be a bit more aggressive. So I guess my point is, is that start off nice and slow. And if you, especially if it's a weekend, you can't get to the dentist or maybe it's two weeks, you got to wait, work on it. And if, if it doesn't relax, then, then it's like, okay, maybe this is something I need to have a dentist look at. Um, but again, if, if you're gentle with it and it starts to reduce and starts to reduce, it starts to reduce then get a bit more aggressive with it. Now, obviously you don't want to bruise yourself, but you might need, because this is a thick, big muscle it needs work on and then once you feel comfortable with that you can come in here and kind of lock on this muscle and just open your jaw and close and then just move down a little bit and i can tell you right now that's still very tender right there is still very tender so i'm going to be doing that today uh, and just work that way all the way down the muscle you don't have to push hard just nice nice and firm and work all the way down, just open and close your mouth, open and close your mouth. And then when you're done with that, a nice stretch is just opening your mouth. Just get a good stretch in this whole area, and that will help. You can also do your O's, you know, O, oh, and smile, or open, but just work this, stretch this out after you have warmed it up with a heat pad, 
You massage it a little bit and then open and close, open and close, smile, frown. Any of those movements will help this muscle relax. So if, it, if anything that you're doing causes the pain to increase, and it's probably time to see your dentist. If your dentist says, I, I, you don't have any cavities, I don't know what's going on, then maybe see a physical therapist or a rehabilitative massage therapist and get in here and really work this muscle. There may be some other muscles in the jaw that need to be worked on. But again, if you don't have any cavities, it may be this muscle that's causing that pain. It, it really does, in my, my uh, experience, it felt like I had a cavity, a serious cavity that was going to need a root canal. Uh, so I was able to get rid of that. So again, if you would like to find out more about our online course, how to take, you know, how to figure out what muscles are causing what problems, and then how to take care of it, how to do the self-care training so that you learn how to work deeper and deeper into the muscle to get that muscle as flexible and as mobile as possible so that you can get back out and do the things you love to do. Check out the, the link uh, below in the comments and uh, check out that course. All right, have a wonderful day and take care.